8 series relay provide one or up to four breaker failure elements. The breaker failure scheme trips a backup protection breaker when the primary breaker fails to interrupt the fourth current. When the function is set to retrip, the scheme will be initiated by the phase or neutral current higher than the retrip supervision pickup. It immediately sends a trip signal to the breaker initially signaled to trip. In this way, it reduces the possibility of widespread tripping from a declaration of a failed breaker. This feature is usually described as retrip. The scheme determines a breaker failure condition supervised by one of the conditions current, breaker status and current, or breaker status only. Breaker closed selects the flex operand to indicate that the circuit breaker is closed. When there is a confliction of this uh, breaker closed settings with the setting of the breaker under system, the setting in this breaker failures, breaker closed prevails. Each type of the supervision is equipped with a time delay, after which a field breaker is declared and trip signal are sent to all breakers required to clear the zone. The delay are associated with the breaker failures timer 1, 2, and 3. We'll explain this more in the logic diagram. The timer 1 and 2 logic provide two levels of the current supervision, high set and low set, that allow the supervision level to change. For example, from a current which flows before the breaker inserts an opening resistor PIR into the faulted circuit to a lower level after the resistor insertion. Low, the low set delay interval is the expected breaker opening time. Different breaker manufacturer has different design of the PIR pre-insertion resistor. It is important to understand the sequence of the PIR operation during opening before setting this parameter. The breaker failure initiation can be from external with flex operand or with 15 internal protection operands like face, POC, IOC operands or neutral TLC, IOC In the logic diagram of breaker failures, we're going to introduce the operand of breaker failures Retrieve and breaker failure operate. Then the timers of the T1, T2, T3, and the low set delay. The breaker failure retrip, this can be initiated once the retrip function is enabled. Any Internal or external initiation can trigger this uh, retrip. And the retrip is used to trip the local breaker. For the breaker fill up, this is used to, to trip the remote breaker. The three timers 
corresponding to three supervision conditions. T1, this is used for the current supervision conditions only. And T2 is for both auxiliary contact and the current supervision conditions. And T3 is only used for the breaker contact uh, supervision. And low set delay is used for the PIR pre-insertion resistor uh, application. And this should be the breaker opening time. So all these conditions will drive to the final breaker fail operand and this to use to trip the upstream remote breaker.